This guy's from Canada. I've talked to him a couple times a few years ago. <coughs> uh, Wayne Hill. I've talked to Wayne Hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, James uh, McKee. I, I don't know him. They both went in together and wrote this book on uh, carving totem poles. So it should be interesting. Mm -hmm. And is, I bought this book probably about a year ago, and I'm now getting around to reading it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, he seemed like an interesting guy when I talked to him. So uh, I'll see what goes here. I just love this kind of stuff. It's beautiful. And you're from uh, Washington. Yes. <laughs> did I say? Did I say it wrong? You said it right. Yeah. Yeah. Washington. Okay. Yeah, that makes and me homesick. To see does this does it make you homesick? Army. Especially that one right there, where they let them go back yeah, to nature. They they let the totem poles uh, go back into the earth. They used to. Yeah, some of this. Pacific Northwest Native Art. Yeah, I like this kind of stuff. Going to, uh, I like to carve a mask too. In fact, mm -hmm. I like to carve a lot of things. Mm -hmm. and, uh, all that. I got a scroll saw piece I've got to finish first. Wow, that's beautiful. It's, uh, I'm Did you get a totem pole growing out of your house, Larry? Oh, uh, yeah. We need to have one right in the, right in the house. Here's one that was carved 140 years ago. Called this, oh, what is that? Sky pole. Hole in the sky pole was carved 140 years ago. Wow. Yeah, that's Wayne Hill. They put out a good book. When I first got interested in uh, totem poles, it was, hard, it was hard for me to find uh, books on them. I know they were out there. Mm -hmm. I just didn't uh, know quite how to go do it. Now here's, the, here's an old one. This is nice. Sometimes it's, uh, it's more fun just to look at the pictures. <laughs> yeah. Of course. You know, that's why we like comic books. <laughs> Yeah, this, this book is well worth buying. And this is what he does. This is how he makes a living. I'm making these uh, totem poles. There's the eyes. These are all the elements of the Different totem. variations of eyes and everything. You get a lot of good ideas out of these books. Uh, a lot of people, up there, they, they do the traditional, the meaning and everything. I, I grab a little bit of this and that. And, I'm going to do my own. Could you do it for Christmas time? That would be nice. There's a long house. Yeah. That must have been the coffee shops in those days. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Look at this. Yeah, there's a foil. You know, that really is true because they'd have their social gatherings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of the canoes. Yeah, that was the, uh, the coffee shops. I've never seen something like this. I don't know what that is. I haven't read the... the it's like a hummingbird or a mosquito. It looks like a mosquito, doesn't yeah, it's a mosquito, it? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'll find that here in a minute. Yeah, just, uh, every this one page, before it's painted, yeah. Yeah, see, every page is interesting. Um, this shows different ways how you can carve. And I like it when it's not painted. It gives you a real good idea here. Look at, look at this here. It's a uh, little loon. Yeah. Now let's see the other side where it's one is painted. Voila. Oh, yeah. See? These are so cool. 